everyone! Welcome to the channel. I'm virtually. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. This is a new series, everyone. It's called Project Renovation. It was inspired by Lil Simsy's save. She has a save that you can download where she has renovated every lot and every venue and even every townie and added some storytelling in her lot. So it was a really cool idea. I wanted to take on the challenge and give it my own spin and it probably will take more than a year to complete all of the renovations for all of the new worlds and all of the places that we have so far. So we're just gonna take it one lot at a time and enjoy the process, <laughs> you and I. I just, wanna, uh, I, I just wanna say that I've enjoyed having Joaquin more active on the channel. I hope you guys have too. He's sort of taken over the let's play portion of this uh, particular channel and is really doing above and beyond the Call of Duty, doing a great job. He's so entertaining. He's uh, been taking care of me virtually in games, so it's been a lot of fun and we'll continue to do the Merkland challenge on Wednesdays. We, uh, we're adopting his schedule because he's been on me. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, Joaquin is a sim that has sort of taken on sentient life and has become a prominent Ah, a prominent role in this channel. Everybody loves him. We love him. And he uh, he, he has uh, spotlights and cameos here and there, but he's become more of a staple for the channel. Anyway, he's going to be doing the Merklin Challenge on Wednesdays and then Fridays we will have videos, but it's going to be random videos for uh, Sims related things. It could either be news um, updates or it could be create a sims for the townies in this world or it could be updates on my vet and home clinic challenge that i created so it could be any of those three things or any other oddity that might come up that may need um some time highlighted will happen on fridays so hope you guys are okay with that schedule for now if if we have another series or another something or if if something you know uh, isn't as important to highlight. We may have more videos on one week than another, um, but but that's the set schedule for, for now. So a bit of a channel update for you guys there. Then what I would like to say is that um, we are going to do the second Merklin challenge. One of the side challenges is starting up this week. So on Wednesday, you'll find Joaquin uh, following virtually around in the overgrown library challenge, which is what won the poll question for that particular day on that particular video. Everyone wanted to see the overgrown library challenge. So that's what we're gonna do. And there's gonna be a little bit of building there, not too much, more uh, more of a storytelling uh, side challenge. And you'll see what I mean when we get into it. But I'll let Joaquin have the honor of telling you guys what that's all about. So this particular lot is called the Garden Essence lot. It is the lot where the best friends live. So there's two nerdy characters in this lot and there's one athletic sim in this lot. And so the traits that we selected pretty much enhance those characteristics. And then we also have uh, a little bit of the gray theme happening here, right? and we have some pastel colors kind of showing through. This particular build was very dim and moody and a lot of the very cheap appliances were strewn about in this build, but we have we decided we we're gonna up, update everything, update it all. It has a more of a feminine feel and I think most of my renovations will have more of a feminine feel to it because hey, I'm the one that's renovating, so, and I'm a girl and that's how it all works out in the end oh my goodness uh holidays at my job this year were pretty crazy my boss has the holiday bug and she loves christmas and this year it's all females in my department and what she usually did is a week before christmas she'd fill our stockings she gave us all stockings and she'd fill up all of our stockings with one gift every day the week prior to christmas well this year she did three weeks every day one gift three weeks prior to christmas she completely went overboard we were very thankful and grateful and it was such a blessing and it was cute to see her happy like that she did give us one present this year that 
really, it kind of put a knot in my throat because she's ever the encourager. She's always encouraging us to do more and, and, and think outside of the box and reach for the stars and all that good stuff. But anyway, she gave us this bracelet that said she believed she could do it and so she did. And while that is a very small and simplistic statement, it really means the world to me because so many times I'll sit here and I'll think to myself, oh, I can never do that or I can never do this or whatever, you know, whether it be taking this channel farther or uh, a weight loss process or befriending people or whatever the kid, whatever it is that I'm into at that point in time. I never feel like I can. And so oftentimes what will happen is because I feel like I can't, I won't even attempt it. And there are so many missed opportunities in my life because of that mindset. So this bracelet does mean a lot because I think a lot of our team members are in that place. And I think a lot of times women don't give themselves enough credit. You know, there's just so much stigma that we're the weaker sex or we're the this or we're the that that we don't we don't even attempt to be or do more and so having her believe in us to that extent really 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 means the world to me so it was a it was a special present it was my favorite present this year and um it was good times and then my husband and i went to indiana like we usually do that's where his family's from and we had a really great time with his parents and his brothers and sister and um and her husband and this year we did something different because we're already at a point in our lives where we don't I mean we're very 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 grateful and thankful that we don't have a lot of need or want for anything in our life so we decided this year we're just gonna do gag gifts and maybe we won a kind of special gift that we could do a white elephant with right and so the gag gift portion of it was extreme fun. There was about, I don't know, there was about seven or eight of us, maybe a little bit more, maybe there were 11 of us there. And we had a really, really great time. Lots of laughs with a, with a random, crazy gag gifts. Um, <clears throat> like for example, like one of the things that we gave away as a gag gift was <laughs> a reindeer thong. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, we had a reindeer thong given away this Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's what we did and we had a great, great time. And the person that received that gift was the perfect person to get it. So we had a really, really great time. Anyway, back to the build. This build is a lot of pastels, a lot of feminine undertones to it. There are two ladies that live in this, in this particular uh, lot. I let myself decorate around objects this time around. Typically what I do is I set the floor and the wallpaper and then I decorate around the floor and the wallpaper. But this time around I, I have a lot of fun putting down an item and then really going to town and decorating around it. I had a great time um, making rugs smaller because there's so many rugs that I've loved to use in the past but they were just way way too big and um, just having the capability of making things smaller is really really neat this particular room is my favorite room in the entire build and I enjoyed it quite a bit I enjoyed the black and the gold theme in this room um, I love that huge painting or a uh, wall art the one that's kind of like it looks like it looks like a Marilyn Monroe wannabe thing or maybe it's supposed to be like I don't know like a 50 star of some sort but I love that I love it so much and I love the closets and I don't use them enough so I put them in two rooms this time around so the thought process is two of the ladies can live in the bottom and then I add in an upstairs where the, the guy can sleep, the male sim can sleep, and there's also like a like a game room up there, which is pretty cool. And one thing that I want to do more of is I want to do more basements, because I rarely do basements. But anyway, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with um, all of the Let's Plays on the channel so far. Um, the Vet and Home Challenge that I created is getting a lot of traction on my blog. I was kind of... Um, sort of impressed by the traffic 
but um, but it's a fun it's a fun little challenge that I created that I'm play testing the second time around with Joaquin, and we're having a great time with it. And we're also completing all of the Merklin challenge. And you guys, what I'm really really excited about is that Brenna Cam Sims, who is the creator of the Merklin challenge, is play testing second challenge that's separate and apart from the Merklin challenge that I cannot wait to get my Spanish lions on because I love I love her creativity and she's been creating these crazy crazy Vardos and lots that I, I just I can't wait I can't wait to get my hands on them I can't wait to know what the theme is and everything this post-apocalyptic thing has been a lot of fun for New Year's we have our best friend coming into town. They're spending New Year's with us, him and his girlfriend. So we've been cleaning fools and I apologize because dust, dust does react negatively and adversely on my person because I get the worst allergy attacks, which is why my voice is sounding like an old smoker, chain smoker's voice. I don't smoke guys, I promise. It just is what it is, but I do apologize because I know it sounds terrible. This year, there's a couple things that I'm adding on my resolution list, and I typically don't do them because I typically don't go through with most things. But um, you know, you have your standard. Yeah, I need to lose some weight and really be be more health conscious. But uh, what I really want to focus on is making this channel um, great with content, and really want to focus on supporting more folks in the community. I think. I think as a whole, we as a community tend to, and I say this because I do it myself, so this is not a, a shun or a, a negative comment towards any group or person in particular, but I feel like I tend to like stay in my own little world in The Sims, and you guys are more than welcome to be a part of it. But I don't do more than that. So, um, and it's not because I don't want to. A lot of times the excuse that I always give myself is that, hey, I don't have a lot of time. I work 40, 50 hours a week and I get into really incredible long-winded projects at work that take me away from this hobby sometimes. And so, um, enough of that. I really wanna find new content creators and um, spend more time on other people's channels and seeing what they're up to and um, that's where creativity kind of is fun right and not just the big channels but the little channels I think a lot of us um, go unseen because um, we can't rise from the clutter you know there's a lot of content on there, a lot of really good content and it's really hard for people to find us and it's, a it's really hard for us to really make a mark in the community because it's just such a heavy loaded um, directory. So that is my commitment to myself is to find more simming friends and really uh, put myself out there a little bit more um, and see what inspiration we can draw from each other this year. That's um, definitely a goal of mine. But anyway, we're, we're getting close to wrapping this up. Um, really farting around with some of the roofing because I'm hiding the closet there and just adding some dimension and some landscaping to the front yard. And um, I do a lot of little things that I didn't capture on this video, but if you download it, the link to this lot is down below. You can replace the lot in Garden Essence with this lot if you want. You are more than welcome to do so, or if you want this lot for, for one of your own lots in your world that you're currently playing, you, oh no, you can absolutely do that. I just realized something that I'm gonna have to fix in the video. So when you see it, you won't see what I oh no to. <laughs> But anyway, enjoy the before and afters, you guys. Uh, happy holidays. Happy New Year. Have a safe and may all of your wishes in 2018 come true. I'm sending positive thoughts your way, virtual hugs, and I'll talk to you super, super soon, guys. Bye.